I'm now going to add the game state class to different functions, one that will save the class to a file and one that will load the class from a file. I'm going to start with the save function. I'm going to add that beneath cube add. Really this save and load functionality um, each is just a, a one line piece of code. I'm going to create a function which is going to be called save object. Uh, it's going to take a string which is going to be the path name to which we should save. And in this save object function I'm going to call the save data functionality. Um, and to do that uh, I can type class engine dot static dot basic save object. For the first parameter I'm going to pass uh, a reference to the class that we wish to save. Since I want to save this class I'm going to pass a reference of self. Self works much like the me pointer or the this pointer that you might find in other languages. It means me, this class. I want you to save me. I'm going to pass the value of path. Uh, the second parameter, string name path, tells the function where we want to save this file on the hard drive. And I want to save it uh, according to the path parameter here. The third function uh, indicates whether this is going to be a save game file uh, and we're going to say yes, true and finally the version number I'm going to specify at 1 for this parameter and that completes the save functionality and for the load function we're going to do something very similar load object string path the path of the file from which we wish to load I'm going to capitalize the P there for consistency and again I'm going to select class engine dot static dot basic load object again self for the first parameter we're loading the contents into this class from this path yes it's a save game one and end and there we have completed the game state class this class keeps track of a whole array of cubes in the scene and it can save them and load them using the save object and load object functions. In the next section we're going to be creating the game info class which will bring all the functionality that we have coded so far together in one coherent level. It will allow us to save and load the level using Unreal Console commands. It is now time for us to create our third and final class for this project. This class will be our game info class, which will act as a managerial class, a manager class, a class that will bring together both of the classes that we have created so far. The game info class will be responsible for giving us a uh, exec function to spawn cubes in the level. This spawn cube function will rely upon the cube add function that we created in the game state class to add a cube to the game objects array. The game info class will also have functions for saving and loading the level. And the game info class will also have some, some functionality that we will call at the start of the level. So let us create the game info class now. I'm going to do that by right clicking on the uh, classes folder in the solution explorer and choosing add new item from the context menu. From the dialog that appears I'm going to select Unreal Script File and I'm going to name the class custom game info and then press the add button at the bottom right hand side of the dialog. The custom game info class is generated and it extends from object. We don't want that. I want to extend from game info. And here our class is ready. The first thing that I want to add to this class is a member variable. In particular, this member variable should be of the type game state. 
it should be var game state and we can call this um, game current state now this member variable um, is of type game state which we created in the previous section we need a variable to um, to this class so that we can call upon all of the functions to find in game state so that we can save the level and load it and add cubes to the array the next thing that we want to do is to perform some initialization code when the level begins in particular we need to instantiate this uh, variable here though we have created this game current state variable it begins initialized to none or null or empty we will need to instantiate the game state class and assign it to this game current state variable and we're going to do that in the post login event this event is called when the custom game info class is first created when a player enters the level to create the um, post login function we're going to type event post login player controller new player this function is not an original function for this class it is inherited from the higher level game info class and is called automatically for us so uh, I'm going to call the superclass version of this function to ensure that any ancestor classes perform their necessary behavior and then I'm going to create a um, I'm going to instantiate this game current state here going to add that here and choose new class game state and there we have created a function in which the game current state is instantiated as this class is created the next function that I'm going to create is the spawn cube function this function will be an exec function meaning that the user will be able to call it from the unreal console during gameplay the spawn cube function will be used to spawn a new cube in the level at the specified position and so it will call upon the game current state object in order to add the spawn cube to the cubes array that we will eventually save to a file on the hard drive so let us create the spawn function now if I just insert some lines and I choose function exec spawn cube and for the parameters that we input are going to be three floats to specify the 3d position of the cube to be spawned its x y and z position float x float y float z the I'm going to add two uh, local variables to this function I'm not going to specify what they do right now their purpose will become clear as the function progresses I'm going to add a local variable here to vector location local um, it's going to be local uh, cube memory which is going to be our cube okay so the first thing we want to do for the spawn cube function is to assign these three floats x y and z to a vector location structure to plug these values into a vector structure that the UDK recognizes so I'm going to choose location x equals x location dot y equals y and location dot z equals z having done that the next thing that I want to do is to spawn the cube in the level well I'm going to choose cube 
because the spawn cube will be assigned to this cube memory variable here. Cube equals spawn. This spawn function is inherited by all actors. Uh, I'm going to choose spawn uh, class and it's going to be class cube memory which is our cube actor class. I'm going to skip the next few optional components and for location I'm going to pass location and end that there and that will spawn our cube in the level. But of course though our cube is spawned in the level it is not yet added to the uh, of the game objects array in our game current state. The array in this object does not yet know about the cube that we have spawned into the level and we must notify this, this object that the cube has been created. To do this we're going to call the add cube function of that class. So I'm going to copy and paste the name of the class here, game current state, and I'm going to choose uh, cube add, and I'm going to pass it a pointer to our newly spawned class. And that completes the spawn cube exec function. The function begins by spawning a cube into the level, and then it adds that cube to the game state array.